guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Um, we are now the next morning and I have 19 followers, look. Um, I'm following 36 and I've got 19 followers, which I think is quite a good ratio. Um, now, one of the things I do need to do is go and follow lots more people and that will start to raise my followers in turn, hopefully, if I follow the right people. But right now, what we're talking about is tweeting. We are going to go through what you tweet, when you tweet it, um, and where you get your information from. So here we are in our timeline. This is where we make, our, this is where we place our tweets. So let's go and have a look and see what tweets are out there at the moment. Well. Obviously, I've just tweeted um, one of our articles on the Social Networking Academy, and I'll talk to you about shortened links later and why they're actually quite important. Um, but that's one of my tweets this morning. Jeff Bullis, he actually does tweet quite a lot. Okay, look, I've got Jeff Bullis, Jeff Bullis, Jeff Bullis, Jeff Bullis. Now, you may feel, hmm, that's overkill. I would, I would be unfollowing him straight away. But there's two things to consider. Number one, most of his tweets are actually quite interesting. He's got some really good stuff, um, and that when you actually click on them and go through to his blog, then um, they are they're interesting tweets. A lot of them. Secondly, I have only got thirty. I'm only following thirty six people, so he is tweeting a lot. But then I'm only I've only got thirty six people tweeting at the moment. Once that gets up to two, three, four thousand people that I'm following, all of a sudden this is going to be chock-a-block full of tweets and he's going to have to tweet a lot in order to catch my attention. Okay, so I think one of the key things with Twitter is that you do need to be pretty frequent on here. Now, there's going to be a balance. Um, some people are going to feel maybe you're, if, if they're not following that many people, um, then maybe you're going to overwhelm them and they're not going to want to be your follower. Um, but in all honesty, guys, it's you know, who do you want to follow you? You want people who like your content, who find it interesting, who want to hear from you, um, and who are probably fairly active themselves on Twitter, so probably are following quite a lot of people. So I think the message here is that you do need to be tweeting quite frequently, and I would say probably at least um, once an hour. Yeah, yeah, you really want to be getting in there and making a tweet at least once an hour, if not more. But if you're a beginner to this, um, you're not sure, then at least try and go on there at least once an hour and just make a tweet giving some um, great content or just a comment or whatever. Um, but as you grow and you get more prolific, then you probably want to be tweeting even more than that. I know it sounds crazy, doesn't it? Um, but if you just think of the amount of information that's going out there, um, you know, billions of tweets every day, uh, then you're going to have to keep tweeting in order to get your message in front of your audience. So one of the things that you want to do, some different ways to get content and tweet and all the rest of it, um, is it's very similar to Facebook. Um, it's very similar and in fact what I'd like you guys to do is head over to the site, go to the 90 day coaching program okay, and go down to week 5 and watch videos 5 and 6, staying ahead of the game. Go and watch videos 5 and 6, because in those videos I go through in quite a lot of detail how you can go and get lots and lots of content at your fingertips. Okay, um, So do go and watch videos 5 and 6 of the 90 day coaching program week 5. Okay. Now, one of the places, that, what I explained to you is how to use something called Google Reader to have information at your fingertips. Um, Google Reader is great. You can basically put in all of your blogs, all of your interests, um, and you can put it in here, and then it's going to bring up all the latest news right here in one page. So you don't have to constantly be going out and surfing the web to find out your, you know, to find out decent information. So you can basically go in and you can grab other people's content, and uh, if you think it's good and you like it then you can go in and you can actually share this content. Okay? Now you can do this, a lot of people, particularly social media websites, are going to have this little retweet button in here. So you can actually go and retweet this okay, to your followers. Now what does that do? Okay, It doesn't send people to your blog, it doesn't send people to your content, but it does ensure that you're getting interesting information out to your audience. So if you feel that you've come across an, an article that is valuable, you've got two choices. You can either simply retweet it if that article has that function within the blog, or you can just take the URL um, and, uh, and obviously place that in a tweet saying, hey, read this article this morning, really interesting information, think you would, you know, think you would enjoy this. 
okay what that does is it gives you credibility okay it's, it says your friends say oh wow you know Joe always keeps us up to date with the latest goings on in social media it doesn't always necessarily have to come directly from you um, what you're doing is you're simply keeping people up to date okay so don't be afraid of sharing other people's content but I'm not going to go into great detail on other people's content right now because I do do that on those videos I just asked you to watch in the 90 day coaching program so do go and watch those okay um, what you want to try and be doing though as often as possible is linking to your content so if you have a blog or a site um, upon which is plenty of content then you do want to be linking to your content as much as possible okay so if I go over to the social networking Academy here um, we obviously have articles and things on here so um, I could go to one of my articles um, and here we go it's about Facebook and Spotify connecting um, and get that out there on the on Twitter okay now one of the key things you want to do is shorten your URLs okay now Twitter does shorten your URLs for you now so if I went into Twitter and posted this URL in here if I actually create a little tweet and posted that URL that would actually now automatically shorten for me in fact I did one this morning let me see if I can find it and I will show you it here you go this was when I did Facebook launches a new ad that emulates word of mouth what do you think and if you actually click on that link that is a really long link look at the size of that link okay an interesting article that I thought was was good for for people to see and and Twitter automatically shortened that link for me there okay um, now the reason you actually want to go and shorten your own links though is because you want to be able to track them you want to be able to see are people clicking my links are people reading my stuff now tracking is a video course all on its own so I'm not going to go into a massive amount of detail about tracking but I am just going to show you where you can go to shorten your links um, and then analyze them so bitly is a good one HTTP um, s colon forward slash forward slash bitly dot com you can just literally place your link in here shorten it and then you can go into analyze and see whether people have clicked on it retweeted it all sorts of information you can do the same with snip URL you can basically put your long URL in here you can snip it um, you can customize it and then you can track it and the same with tweet burner okay so they're just three um, shortening link shortening sites that you can go in and you can not only um, actually shorten your link but you can then go in and track your links and ensure that people are actually reading what you're posting okay so as I said that's a complete video course on its own we'll leave that for the more advanced Twitter course when we get to that a bit later okay but for now all you would do is go and grab your um, link head over to one of these so let's say it was bitly and I could basically put that link in there um, and then bitly is going to shorten it for me what I can do is I can actually customize it okay so I can click on customize and because some people get very nervous about these um, you know bit shortened URLs when it's when all there is is sort of a jumble of letters and things like that so I can actually um, customize this now my article is Facebook streaming music to my ears so why don't I try music to my ears music to my ears and then click customize and that's already taken unfortunately okay let's try something else let's click customize and let me think hmm I just paused there to think what I could put so I've put FB launch music tab okay because that's what the um, article is actually about so I've now got a link which is HTTP forward slash bit dot ly FB launch music tab okay so I can go and grab that link and then go into Twitter and I can actually put here Facebook are soon to be launching a music tab just thinking what to put there always prepare always prepare we're gonna put Facebook are rumored to soon or oh, rumored rumored to soon be launching a music tab okay and then I'm gonna put in my link there music tab 
check it out okay and then I'm going to put in my my shortened URL link there and tweet okay so I've tweeted that and that's gone in there look Facebook are rumored to soon be launching a music tab check it out and now that is um, a link there and later on I'm gonna be able to go into bitly and see whether anybody has actually retweeted this or done anything with it okay see clicks not out of naught so far um, just you know it was created it four minutes ago and I can go in and basically see whether uh, anybody are actually reading my tweets now I'm probably not going to get an awful lot of uh, response here because I've only got 19 followers um, so obviously <laughs> you need to work hard to get those followers up to as many as possible and then you can start tracking your links there so, okay guys there's lots more on content so what I'm going to do actually is close this video down now and we'll go over to the next video and continue talking about some of the rules of tweeting see you on the next video